what's going on youtube this is marcus and i am back for another video happy monday i hope that everybody is doing well i am doing amazing so i wanted to come on here and give y'all another story time um it's been about maybe two weeks since i since the last video i did um but i wanted to come on and give y'all just a quick story time well, not necessarily a story time, but kind of tell y'all about my birthday weekend. My birthday was on October the 8th, which was two weeks ago. Or was it three? Two or three weeks ago. But anyway, I wanted to come on and give y'all um, like an update to my birthday weekend. And then I'm also going to come back and do another video because over the weekend I had my first... Um, group bait session so i'm gonna do also do a video about that but for this particular video so if you watched my last video i i did the video talking about the second guy that i had a link up with and we were supposed to have linked up that weekend of my birthday so um i think i had kind of mentioned that he's not the best communicator like we've had times where we plan to link up, but then when that day comes, um, I don't hear nothing from him. Or if I do hear something from him, it's like too late, pretty much. Um, so like I said, I was supposed to link up with him that weekend of my birthday. So I was supposed to now, let me also say this and clarify. So, I think I also told y'all that my family closed on the house. So, we have moved into the house. Um, where we live is about 45 minutes from where we used to live. So, it's about an hour and some change to the guy's house that I was supposed to link up with versus like 30-something minutes more or less depending on traffic so i would th the plan was i was supposed to why is you flying through the parking deck like that but anyway the plan was i was supposed to went to his house friday and i was gonna spend the night saturday um and then we was gonna you know spend time together saturday and i was gonna come back home saturday because i told y'all in the last video that he is a He's the worship pastor at his church. So, of course, when you have a position like that, you have to kind of be there early to make sure everything is set up and everything is in place. So, <clears throat> and excuse me if I'm speed talking because I'm actually, um, work is slow right now. So, I kind of snuck out to my car to do this video. Don't tell nobody. But, so yeah, that Friday, which was the 6th, we were supposed to have the link up. Didn't hear from him Friday. So, I was just like, well, I'll just come home. Wait a minute, is that what happened? It was something that happened. No, what happened was um I had to, my mom had to be picked up from work and also my brother was using my car at that time to go to football practice. So I was supposed to win and saw him Saturday. So the the guy that I've been having link ups with regularly, I he and I were talking Friday and I had told him that um I was going to be linking up with him. And I also had mentioned the fact that we were going to be doing more than just stroking. And he was like, well, thank you for telling me that. And I was just like, sure, no problem. Not really thinking about, didn't think none of it. So then he wrote back and was like, yeah, because, um, so just to clarify, so he and I have been having unprotected sex. So, um, now we're both healthy and clean and, and it's just been he and I now, so he did say that, of course, um, he did mention that, like, you're the only one that I'm having sex with. Um, so if you want to continue having sex, I would, you know, like to be safe to make sure both of us are safe and healthy, yada, yada, yada. And I was, well, I was kind of on the fence about that. On one point, I understood where he was coming from. But then on the other hand, I was like, you act like I'm just going to be out here, like, raw dogging with any and everybody but whatever so but yeah like i understood where he was coming from and i was like yeah okay you know i definitely understand what you're saying yada yada so the next morning he hit me up um it was just like hey how you doing 
yada yada. And one of the things that I love about the I don't want to say the relationship. I say the bond that we have is that he and I have conversations on a literally we talk every day and we have regular conversations. It's not now sometimes the conversation do turn sexual, but for the most part, we have regular conversations. One of the things that I don't like is when the only time I hear from you is when you're trying to link up with me. I, I can't stand it. And people that do that, I make it known to them that like, if the only time I hear from you is when you're trying to link up, you might as well not even hit me up at all. But anyway, so he hit me up and was asking me like, hey, um, hey, what's up? You know, he asked me, was I nervous? Um, which I, I think for me, when it's your first time, like, cause even when me and him had sex for the first time, I was nervous one because it was my first time period. Um, so yeah, I was nervous slightly to link up with other guy cause it would have been our first time. It's just one of those things that you want to make sure that both parties have a good time. Um, so, I had told him, I was like, I hadn't heard from him as of yet. Because I'm trying, yeah, but did I talk to him Friday? No, I didn't talk to him Friday, but I did, like I said, I didn't come Friday because I had to pick my mom up from work and my brother needed to use my car to go to football practice. So, I hadn't heard nothing from him Saturday. Um, now, the thing for me is, if you and I were supposed to link up Saturday, since he would have been the host, because I was coming to see him, then he should have been the one to hit me up and say, hey, are we still on for tomorrow? You know, you can come at this time or that time, yada, 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 this. And it wasn't none of that. So it was just like, but then, but every time we talk, it's like, oh, I miss you. I can't wait to see you. And I'm just like, well, I can't tell because every time we scared to the link up, I don't never hear from you. But anyway, so I told him like I hadn't heard nothing from him. And he was like, um, well, if you want some. If you need to be taken care of, like, you know where I'm at. And I was like, OK, you know, because so he works he has two jobs so he has a, a regular nine to five and then he's also a cheerleading coach slash choreographer and usually he does that on the weekend so a lot of times i don't really he's not really in my mind in that aspect because i know he's usually busy so when he hit me up and told me i can come and i was like so you don't have to do you know you don't have your cheer stuff and he was like no and i was like well if i don't hear from him by 10 o'clock i'm coming to see you so my he and i were still conversing back and forth during that time and at like 10 01 i was like you know i ain't heard from him i'm coming to see you and so i had hit him up and was like hey we're gonna have to reschedule because something came up and he was like so he not gonna be mad that i took you away from him and i was like he gonna have to be okay like i haven't heard nothing from it and i said and plus you get top priority at this point so you know we set it up to uh you know for me to come see him now my brother had a bat a football game that day um so and then my aunt was having a painting sip later on that evening at her house so that was the plan was i was gonna come spend it spend time with him and then go to my aunt's house which i did i came over to see him um i ain't gonna get too deep in it because that ain't y'all business but i'll just say he treated me very well um as always and then i went to my aunt's house we had a painting sip now i will say this i this was the this particular day i learned that if you're going to be drinking, you need to make sure you have something on your stomach because we did take three shots while I was there and I hadn't ate nothing all day. I think all I might have had on my stomach that day was some coffee. Um, and so after we, you know, did what we did, he took me to get some ice cream. And I remember when we went to the ice cream place and we were sitting in the drive through I was just sitting there feeling, I was like extremely nauseous. And I was just sitting there like, please don't let me throw up in this man's car. But we ended up getting back to his house and I ended up eating the ice cream. And I was, you know, I was pretty good after that. So then we ended up going up to his room. We took, a, you know, a little cat nap before I had to leave. Because he could tell that I was sleepy and he was like, you want to go upstairs and take a nap? And I was like, yeah, sure. So we went up there and took a nap. Um... And that was it, y'all. Like I said, we, you know, it's always a vibe when him, when he and I link up. Um, 
So I ended up going to my aunt's house. She had cooked, you know, some appetizers and whatever. So I was able to put something on my stomach. Now I did feel better once I, after I woke up from the nap and I went to my aunt's house and she had, you know, some drinks there too. But I was just like, no, nah, cause I was like, I had three shots already today. I'm saying, plus I had to drive back home. Um, cause my mama, she don't drive unless she have to drive. And then my brother's girlfriend was there, but she, I could tell she was lit too. Plus I don't know how she drives. So I was like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just drive back. I ain't, you know, I won't, I ain't trying to drink, you know, other than I had three shots. I ain't a drinker like that. Uh, but the painting sit was dope. Um, we had, she had ordered like these, uh, I guess you can call them like stencils. She had ordered from Amazon. So we was able to paint those. And they also came with a, like a picture so you could kind of so it could kind of give you an idea of what the painting is supposed to look like um but yeah it was a really great time like i like i like i've mentioned in previous videos that you know we've always been close but we've gotten grown even closer after my grandmother passed and so we've really been trying to make an effort to spend more time together i think i told y'all that we're in a group chat and we communicate every day um but yeah, y'all, it was a vibe. Now, the next day, which was my actual birthday, I just laid in the bed all day. Like, I really didn't feel like going anywhere. I didn't feel like doing nothing. Originally, I was supposed to have taken a trip for my birthday. I was, I had plans to go to Philly for my birthday to meet um, a friend. But my job took forever to give me, to, to, to approve my request to take off. Mind you, I put that request in like way back in like May or like April or May as when I put that request in. They didn't approve the request until like early to mid September. Um, now, thankfully, I hadn't spent no money, you know, as far as hotel and travel because my intention was to drive up there and he was going to let me stay at his place. So thankfully, I hadn't spent no money, but it was like, girl, like y'all messed up my plans. Like I was supposed to been, you know, trying to travel and, you know, do stuff. So. Um, I do plan on taking a trip to Philly. It'll probably just have to be a quick, like, weekend trip versus, you know, when I, because I had took off a whole week for my birthday. Um, and then that following week, the reunion tour came to my city or my area, and I was supposed to have went to that, but it slipped my mind and forgot to get the tickets. Y'all know if, y'all know it was Kurt Franklin Israel Holt and Ty Tribbett, the Clark sisters, um, David and Tamala Mann, they was, they're all on the tour together. And so I, me and my mom was supposed to go, but child, I had forgot about them tickets. But anyway, that was my birthday weekend. Um, I do, I would want to say thank you to those of y'all who gave me birthday, happy birthday. If it was on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, what have you. It's greatly appreciated, even though didn't none of y'all uh, hit my cash yet. But it's cool. I'm going to let y'all slide this time. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, I thank y'all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to y'all later.